What is going on, you self-styled lunatics? Guys, made a few changes to the channel. You'll see it as we go along. Um, we burned 729 million USTC over the weekend. Now, you might be noticing that there was no price action move at all. And let's go back in time to remember that Genuine Labs is the people who does who, who does the reporting to Quinkecko and CoinMarketCap. So, uh, let's break this down so that you guys can see what is going on first of all by the way if you like this content make sure you hit the like button and let's get after it. okay guys number one uh terraform labs approved for bankruptcy wind down after the u.s sec settlement now if you remember it's a 4.7 billion dollars includes disgorgement i think uh, uh 442 million in penalties for duquan all of that's happened uh it's approved so within a month or two, we're going to have an absolute ending of Terraform Labs. going to be wind, winded down by the end of October. That will include some more of their own burns in the meantime. So, uh, good thing happening here, I think, for the Luna community, Luna Classic community, and USTC community. So, let's kick off these burns and let's talk about those. So, this is Stake Bin. I don't normally use this, but I'm aware of it. So, let's go back here and let's look at, we just burned, as you can see right here, 726,369,688 uh, overall USTC supply. So, that is no longer part of the chain. Now, you might be asking yourself, uh, hey, what's up, Protein Shake from uh, Brogadishu? Uh, how come the price no go different? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And you can see right here from the chart that even though we got a little bit of excitement uh, over the last couple of days because of the possibility or the potential, this is an hour chart, by the way, we kind of move along here and you can see here from Wednesday of last week, we had a, a little bit of a rip to the upside coming in close to 1.8 cents, but really didn't take off despite an enormous burn. Well, let me go back and let me tell you. This was all, in my opinion, and, I, and I'm not a professional here, I'm just a handsome guy that tells you these things, um, this is a little bit of an outlier. Uh, in, in, we should have been more excited about it, I think, but the reason that we were not is actually very simple. You and I have been talking about this for a long time, and guess what? That total supply, it was already not included in the total supply. So what happened with the total and circulating supply? Nothing, because it's already been reported. So... Uh, it is my opinion that this burn proposal that came from Happy Caddy Crypto was much ado about nothing. Now, it's important to know that the, 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 the crypto has been burned because you don't want it to seep back into the market. Sure. However, uh, this does mean that effectively what happened here is the money, the, the, the crypto, the, the, the tokens, they were already out of the ecosystem to begin with for the terms of the reporting purposes and for the terms of the price action. So uh, you didn't see any big lift off of this. So uh, now that begs the question, well, what next? So now that we've seen a significant amount of burn, now we have to consider what are the rest of the burns. And if we remember here, I do want to say that I do think that there are about 2.7 billion that Terraform Labs was holding on to, somewhere in the neighborhood of two, 2 billion, somewhere, something like that. Now, the question would then become, what happens next? And let me tell you, this is going to be, I think for a lot of people, it could end up being a slight disappointment. Let me explain why. Because there's on USTC burned on chain 2.5 billion, which includes that other one. Now, there's USTC burned in the wallet of 500 million. So that begs the question, the rest of the Terraform Labs wallets, are they already not calculated in these transactions because if that happens then that's going to be a, a a very weird sort of thing here for a lot of people in this ecosystem and in this space because <clears throat> when you're calculating your market cap over here and you're calculating the price per coin you are considering this number right here the circulating supply now if you notice if i were to to do the math on it you would notice that there's over two billion dollars in differential a two point let's call it three two point three billion in differential between the total supply and the circulating supply so the circulating supply is what you divide by the market cap in order to come up with the price per coin well um, if we're going to burn another 1.7 trillion two trillion from the uh from from anchor protocol from uh, Terraform Labs, from whatever wallets they may have, we're going to be burning those. That's probably going to come out of the total supply and is not going to affect in the least the circulating supply because they've already been 
removed from that by Genuine Labs in their calculations, I want to say. Now, I'm not sure of that, but it looks to me like that's the case because this is what we just saw, and we didn't see a lift off of it from the price action just by, just by removing them from the chain. It didn't reduce the circulating supply at all. So um, we do have to consider at this point that maybe these burns slow. Well, the burns are going to affect us in the long term. Short term, then we could be looking at something different. There's no pump there. So, uh, but let's move on here uh, because I don't really have a better answer than, you know, we got this nice burn here, but you can see here that we opened up September 21st with 8.916 billion in circulating supply, but... Guys, we've been looking at 8.19 billion this whole time. So nothing has changed fundamentally. Now, as far as your general uh, Luna Classic burner, uh, 247 million. We're getting to the, the middle of the month, towards the end of the month. Uh, new Binance burns coming up very, very soon, but we're sitting here at 133 billion. I've told you guys, 274 billion still sits over there in Terraform Labs in some fashion, but that begs the question, you know, how much of that goes in here. Now, the lucky part for you, for Terra Luna Classic, this could get crazy because if you see here, the variable right there is only about 1 billion, a little bit over 1 billion, uh, 1.1 to be exact, but it's about a billion. So if you're going to burn, or I'm sorry, a trillion. So if you're going to burn 274 billion, the question might be or could be, is that included in this number or not? So we're going to try to get some clarity on that. And I'll get back to you guys tomorrow with that. I'm in the developer chat. We'll be talking about that and, and maybe come up to a, uh, some clarity in it. But, you know, if we're just burning stuff that's already burned according to the system, that's not doing very much. So we'll, uh, we'll let you know exactly what's going on here pretty soon. Now, the other thing is, Let's not forget, uh, Ceramic is working on that USTC repeg proposal. It didn't include any kind of burns. That was not a consideration. So it's 90% complete because there has to be some level of burn that goes along with it. And I think that that's an important, it's obviously the most important thing for this ecosystem to try to start repegging and doing whatever is needed in order to pump price um, from from a from that standpoint, so uh, we'll we'll see what that proposal looks like coming up very very soon. By the way, that's going to come in a little bit over a month. Remember, the idea here is that that proposal would happen about a week after the uh, the wind down the, the completion of the wind down from Terraform Labs. Now, as far as other proposals, there's been no new proposals other than to adjust stablecoin to be supported by CDP uh, and then removal of fork modules from Terra Classic and then floor price protocol for USTC. There's a bunch of different things that are out here that we really haven't kind of built upon yet. But uh, if you want to be involved in the discussion, commonwealth.im. As far as meme coins go, you can see right here what's going on. Look at Juris Protocol. Had a nice little rip over the weekend. Now, it did not get sustained. It didn't get sustained, but it was having a nice little pump. So, in fact, was Garuda X uh, having a nice little pump as well. So, uh, wasn't maintained. The market, I, I don't know, the U.S. market's about to wake up. So, you know, could be a little difficult over the, the next 24, 48 hours. I still think that we're due for a dip. And I've told you guys that I thought that, that the market was going to uh, really kind of bottom out because of the information that we got. It was great news. The market does tend to, to, to work contrary right now as the market makers hunt liquidity. So, when you see that, or when I see that, anyway, I, I get a little bit, you know, nervous that we didn't get a dump. Now, it could be that we're not going to get a dump, but here's the thing. It always happens. So, if it always happens, then we've got about seven days until October. So, uh, could we go down a little bit? It's possible uh, that they could just start to dump on the market just to kind of shore up some liquidity. Uh, and, and by the way, if you want to watch my live stream, you can figure out the numbers for that, and I'll tell you what it looks like. But... It, it, it seems like there's some, uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous about it. Now, I hope it goes straight up. I hope we go up only, and I hope that starts an altcoin season, because that's what we're looking for. That's what we're heat-seeking right now, is an altcoin season. We haven't seen that in a long, long time. At best, we could say maybe March uh, of earlier this year, we had a little bit of an altcoin season. Let's look at the chart, because if you kind of zoom out here, and you look at the chart this way, then you, know, you can make an argument that you know late 2023, all the way up in here, uh, through March of 2024, that's where we were trading way up here. 
Now we're way down here, down about 75% from that high. So uh, that, that begs the question, like, when do we get another alt season? And when do we get a real altcoin season? That was not a real altcoin season. That was just a pump, okay? Uh, that, that pump, in fact, as we look at altcoin season, I'll start with Ethereum, didn't even come near its previous all-time high. Got kind of close, but not enough. Uh, same thing over here for... Um, U.S. Uh, for for Solana, nothing got close to just 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 exploding and having an all time high. Nothing that's been around for a while. So um, now that leads us to where we are, which is if you want to stay up to date on all the goings on of cryptocurrency, then you need to follow me on Cryptonomy.finance. My name is Believes Crypto, and this is my latest article tapped in the evolution of digitally linked assets. Go and follow me. Learn a little bit about cryptocurrency. It's very important. Uh, Cryptonomy offers high quality research from professional analysts, 24-7 instant support for every community member and other information channels where critical updates are posted daily. I'm going to leave a link down below for you to go into each one of those channels, the Cryptonomy Update, the Cryptonomy Finance, and the Cryptonomy News channel. One of the biggest plays right now is real world assets. So I I'm about to drop 1100 link into a staking contract that's going to last me for nine months with a 64.8% return. Just like that, we're staked. Guys, if you're interested in keeping your money and making more of it, then cryptonomy.finance should be on your radar. Sign up today. At this point, we're kind of moving along here, consolidating in a range that I think that look this this to me looks like there could be a big move to that downside coming back into that golden ratio uh, down here. So uh, I'm not real excited about where this is coming. And the point that I want to make to it is uh, this is a lower high. This is a lower high. This move is not completed yet, I don't think, but it's a lower high. We haven't broken trend yet. Now we've broken this structure here where we've we've gone lower and lower with a lower high over here. But let me also illustrate here that we've done that before and it doesn't always mean because we've done something like this. If you see this move right here and you correlate it to this move right here, it's basically the same kind of structure and the same kind of pattern, which would mean to me that you know we're not done with whatever our move is and there could be some more downside. And by the way, I don't know that to be the case. It just looks like it to me on this chart. So um, I would be very careful, uh, make sure if you're doing futures trading, certainly be very, very careful. Uh, if you're just holding your bag, if you're just hodling, you're going to be fine. Uh, the other thing that I, that I might point out here is if you look at Bitcoin right now, you'll see that Bitcoin's down on the day. But if you look around, you'll see that there's a lot of green in the market. So we could be triggering an altcoin season right now, or at least a mini altcoin season to correspond with October and November. There's always that possibility. But look, at the end of this, Bitcoin eats first. So uh, unless we have a big run for Bitcoin that cascades money down throughout this market to come to new all-time highs, unless we get that out of Bitcoin and that money doesn't come flowing down like a faucet and we don't start seeing those big rips that we were looking for before. So we're not there yet. It'll take a little bit more time, but um, that's really, really, really what it looks like. So as far as the price action goes, we're up a little bit on the day. We're at 14 million in volume, uh, 464 million, 484 million in market cap. Uh, same thing over here. We're up about 60% in volume, but it's not leading to price pump. So uh, USTC still waiting for something to happen. Now, if you're wondering how important that BLV uh, labs thing is for the government modules, updating the deposit to hold a dollar value is essential. This is why 12137, at least consider this. You'll notice most people are voting yes at this point. 80% yes, we're about to hit that pass threshold. So I think we're in good shape at this point. So uh, looking pretty good so far. Now, as far as who voted yes, you've got you know all the bigs out here voting yes. The people who, did, who voted no, Jesus is Lord one and two. Baywatch, Lunk Swap, and Modern Joseph Node. So um, make of that what you will. The point here is to keep this thing pegged to a uh, uh, to have a dollar denomination here, which improves that governing module. So um, I think this is an important thing to do. So you know, vote your conscience, 
and let's see what happens now let's talk giveaways guys if you haven't gone to terra casino yet remember they're a sponsor of the channel located right over there pirates map play that now sponsored to you by platypus uh you've got two million dollars in euros being given away by the world poker league and terra casino from september 20th to december 22nd so you got to hook up you got to start playing today if you want to qualify and you want to get in on some of that also pragmatic play mustang golden mega way four hundred thousand dollars click on this for more information august 26th September 20, September 30th. Uh, the, so you got about seven days right now to qualify, but big money being given away over here. And then Evolution is partnered with Terra Casino to give away 1.2 million euros from September 2nd to September 29. Uh, and you can click more information up there. Uh, Luna Classic, Luna, uh, Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygonmatic, Litecoin, Link, uh, USDC, USDT, Dogecoin. All of these are available for you to go trade, and that would enter you to win any one of these big prize pools. So um, what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Also, if you're trying to uh, trade these meme coins that we're talking about all the time, then Terraport.com finance is the place to go now there are some listings over here that you can't get anywhere else so remember some of these things are exclusive rocket i want to say and a few of the other ones so check this out today here's my stake still sitting there still waiting remember everything has been sold out except for the 14 day staking protocol so uh that's a um that's an opportunity for you right now at 16% APR to increase your bag. And also, if you want to, yield farming and liquid staking is available. Now, the launch pad, uh, something green is coming. There is a new launch that we should see very, very soon. Once we see that, um, should be a very cool time. Something else is coming. Remember, Rocket Protocol was the first, but it won't be the last. All right, guys, get out there. Get involved in Luna Classic today. Look, uh, the burns, I, I think they're underwhelming to me at this point because it's already been removed from the circulating supply and it's already been removed from the total supply. So for me, this is a, a, a big non-starter. It sure looked good on, on paper, but it didn't end up that way. So I think it's important that we should all kind of take a step back and look at this from an objective viewpoint and just ask ourselves the question, has somebody already removed this from the reporting on CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko? So uh, it, it is all of this burning coming up in the future already been deducted from the supply? I don't know the answer to that. We're going to find out over the next 24, maybe 48 hours before I get clarity on it. But then I'll be back to you guys and I will let you know what the results of that are. Until then, remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. You guys take care and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.